On behalf of our board, our residents, and Open House New York, welcome to West Beth Artist Housing, the largest artist community in the country, if not the world. My name is Roger Brayman, and I'm president of the West Beth Artist Residence Council. I'm also a visual artist living in the building, and I've been here since 2009. On this tour, you're gonna to learn four things. The history of the building, how it became West Beth. You're gonna get a sneak peek into some of the artist studios. You're also gonna explore nooks and crannies of the building that aren't generally open to the public. I'm standing right now in the West Beth courtyard. The oldest structure on the property is right behind me. It's a four-story building built in the late 1860s. In 1897, Western Electric purchased this building to go along with others in the property. They started development of corporate headquarters here, along with research facilities, later known as Bell Laboratories. Some of the most amazing innovations and development happened at Bell Labs, just to name a few. The condenser microphone used in early radio, the principle for what became radar, high fidelity recording, sound motion pictures, television transmission, the digital computer, the transistor, lasers, satellite communications, and the picture phone. Three things about this space before we go. Right now where we're standing is the West Beth Courtyard, but it used to have a building right here. There were 13 buildings on the property, and this one was taken down to make this courtyard with fountains. Behind me is probably the newest structure on this complex. It's currently now the new school for drama, but it was the Bell Labs research facility for experiments in sound recording and it was actually the first solo exhibition of Keith Haring in 1981. And I just so happened to be wearing the t-shirt of the ad that went for the show. The father of the Village Halloween Parade, puppeteer Ralph Lee, still lives here. For 10 years in the courtyard, the Halloween Parade started and moved through the West Village up into Washington Square Park. Ralph strung a wire from one building to the other large puppets would come down onto the courtyard for Halloween. It eventually got too crowded and it moved to 6th Avenue in 1985. For more information about the artists of West Beth and the building, go to westbeth.org.